welcome back to my channel so today i thought i would film a night in my life so i just got back from my internship so it's almost like 5 p.m right now so this is why i'm like starting the vlog but yeah my internship i usually go in um 8 30 or 10 30 depending on the day and then i get done at 4 30. um i need to go to the gym because i went home this weekend and i did not go to the gym because i was busy like going to work and just like spending time with my family so i didn't really have time to go to the gym so i want to go to the gym today and then i also need to go grocery shopping so that's also on the agenda but yeah i literally just got home from my internship and I'm gonna like put all my stuff away my computer was literally at 3% and I didn't bring my charger with me to my internship and I have a separate bag for my internship bag and like my school bag um, it just keeps everything easier because I have like folders and like files and stuff for my internship that I need to bring and I don't want to keep switching back and forth with my bags I had some free time at my internship today, so I was able to do all of my homework. So I don't have any homework to do since I finished that during my internship, like during break. So that is done. I'm gonna like fix myself together and then get ready to go to the gym. And yeah. all right, so this is the fit for the gym. I'm just wearing this um, top from the Victoria's Secret Pink collection. But it's just a black sports bra and then my favorite leggings. I just ordered a new pair of leggings that are coming tomorrow. So I'll show you guys what that looks like tomorrow. But they're my favorite pair. They're so comfy. I really like the compression on them. But yeah, let's go to the gym. For leg day, I've been wearing my Air Force Ones. I found that they have like really good grip and they're like flat. So yeah, until I get actual squat shoes, these are what I've been using at the gym. And I know people are probably cringing because I'm creasing them, but yeah. the gym and we're here at Trader Joe's gonna do some grocery shopping because I have no food I have my list of everything that I need Some garlic, need some onions. Guys, I love Trader Joe's spice section. This I'm like looking for. I heard about on Instagram. I want to give it a try. This is the vegan chickenless seasoning salt. It's with Salt, onion powder, turmeric, and garlic powder. So we're gonna give that a try. Thanks. Okay guys, so I just got home and here's all my groceries. Um, so I literally had no food. So I'm just so happy that I have food now. So I'm just gonna lay it all out and I'll do like a mini grocery haul for you guys. All right guys, so I just laid everything out so that I can do this grocery haul a lot easier so over here I just have some organic strawberries and bananas these ones aren't ripe at all yet but yeah I just got some of that so I can put these into smoothies and just have them for fruit bowls my favorite cheese these are the soy cheese blend cheese alternative these actually aren't vegan but for me I really like the taste of it and I really like it so that's my favorite cheese but yeah if you're vegan that's not actually vegan um, I got some zucchini squash, my favorite. I have some 
avocados. Then I have some green beans. Then these are the Trader Joe's Sweet Italian Sausage and Four Cheese Raviolis. These are so good and I tried them for the first time like a few weeks ago and I really like them so I want to get them again. And then underneath, these are the cheese tortellinis. They're really good. Just some pasta. Then I saw these ones and I wanted to try them. These are the Trader Joe's Sun Dried Tomato with Basil and Tomatoes. This is chicken sausage. Again, I'm not a huge red meat fan i like more chicken but um you know i want to give that a try too um i got some garlic onion um then i got some pasta this is just penne and then i got some alfredo sauce and then i haven't tried this sauce yet but i want to give it a try this is their three cheese pasta sauce is romano parmesan and asiago cheese in it so we're gonna give that a try sometime this week. Oh yeah, and then I also got this linguine. So what I'm trying to do is like try a bunch of like their bars from Trader Joe's. I tried the ABC bars, they're really good and I finished that today actually. So I wanted to give this one a try. This is the apple cereal bar. They had like a bunch of other fruits. They had strawberries, blueberry, pear, and like all these other ones. But I wanted to give these a try. I like to have these on the go, like before the gym, if I'm, I'm like a little hungry or in between for snacks. Then I have some English muffins, and then these are some large brown eggs, lemons, and we have some potatoes because they're so good as fries. Then I just got some bread. This is the soft 10 grain bread. They didn't have any Ezekiel bread, but I just got this one instead. I got some all-purpose flour, and then this one that I mentioned earlier. This is the vegan chickenless seasoning salt, and I heard people talk about this on Instagram, and they said it was really good. So we're gonna give this a try also, but yeah, that's everything that I got in the haul and I had no food at all for like a whole week last week and I didn't want to go grocery shopping because I was going home in the weekend. So yeah, feels good to finally have food. So I'm going to put this all away and then I will Hi be guys, so I just had dinner and now I'm about to go take a shower. But I didn't show you guys my dinner because I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day tomorrow. So you'll be able to see what I have for breakfast, lunch, and dinner tomorrow. And a lot of you guys have been asking me to film another one of that. So that is what I'm going to be doing. But right now I'm going to take a shower. Some shower essentials I want to share with you guys. I really like to use the um, Organics Coconut Miracle Oil Conditioner. I really like that for my hair. And also for a shower cream gel. This is like my favorite thing to use also. This is the um, Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. It's really good. I also like the Neutrogena... Um, body clear scrub also i'm like halfway done with it so that is also an essential but i'll show you guys my skincare after i get done in the shower but in the shower i use my face moisturizer which is from dr dennis gross so that part i do in the shower so that i can get it over with but yeah so i'll be back and i'll show you guys my skincare after i get showered okay guys so i just got out of the shower and now i'm gonna do my skincare i washed my face already in the shower okay so the first thing i'm gonna do is I'm going to use my toner. So this is the Good Molecules Neosinamide Brightening Toner. I've been talking about this with you guys for the past few vlogs now since I've been giving it a try. So we're just going to take that on a little cotton pad. Also, I have on my microfiber towel and it just like helps keep your hair from frizzing and then usually I would use the good molecules the two serums that I have for tonight I'm going to be using the Kiehl's midnight recovery concentrate this concentrate is supposed to be just used at night so in the morning I used the good molecules serums but for tonight I'm going to be using the midnight recovery I really love this serum also I'm just going to take a few little drops of it and Apply that on my skin. This um this concentrate smells like mint, like eucalyptus mint. 
All right, and then I'm going to let that sit for like 30 seconds. And then I'm going to go in with the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. And then the last step in tonight's skincare routine, I'm just going to do an eye cream. So I have like a few different eye creams that I use. I use like the Banana Bright Eye Cream or I use the um, Dr. Brandt Needle No More Eye Cream. But for tonight, I'm going to be using the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment. This is like the avocado treatment green I'm just gonna take this on both sides and just pat it under my eyes I feel like I don't use a lot of products in my skincare routine because I like to keep it kind of minimal and I honestly don't want to have like too many steps when I'm doing my skincare so that's just that okay guys so I just went and changed and now I'm gonna do my hair care so basically I just take my little wet brush and I brush my hair out and basically using this wet brush um, minimizes frizz and breakage when your hair is still wet okay and then for my hair I'm just going to be putting in the Shea Moisture this is the coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie so I have been using this in my hair and it's the only thing I've been putting in my hair so I'm just gonna section my hair into two parts my hair is also getting super long again I literally just cut it I feel like but yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take a little bit of this it looks like this it's kind of like a um, Kind of feels like silly putty, honestly, but it smells really good. I'm just going to take it on my fingers and rub it through. And then I start on the back ends of my hair where it's most dense because that's where it needs like the most um, control and the most product in. And then I just kind of like bring it down into the rest of my hair and then I start to scrunch it up. But primarily I try to focus it on the denser part of my hair because that's where it gets super frizzy and not super defined because it's so dense. But yeah, then bring it down and then bring it up into my roots. Then I just take a little bit on my fingers right here and I take some on the front pieces of my hair because these parts don't really get that curly or wavy and they get kind of frizzy because they're like in the front of my hair. And I like to have a little bit extra product in the front so that it can be wavy so then I take it all together and I flip my hair over and I'll just like scrunch everything together so that's basically everything that I do with my hair um, I will put in like maybe a gel or something if I needed it to be a little bit more um, controlled but usually I just kind of like it the way it is with just this product in it it gives me like a nice wavy like loose waves so that's what I like to do so yeah that's basically it for my hair hi guys so I'm downstairs because I'm craving something chocolatey and I want to have like a little snack so this is what I'm gonna do one of my favorite things to have is just some strawberries and then Nutella. yeah this is literally my favorite snack to have it's like 9 30 p.m right now and anytime I have like a chocolate craving this just handles it for me so I'm just gonna take some strawberries cut them up and dip it in Nutella let me know if you say Nutella or Nutella it's Nutella. Like, wouldn't it be Nutella? Because it's hazelnut. You don't say hazelnut. And that is my snack. Guys, I've been re-watching The Vampire Diaries. Let me know if you guys are Team Damon or Team Stefan. I'm Team Damon, but I'm just watching some Vampire Diaries and having my snack.
All right, guys, and now I'm just going to edit a video because I have to get that done. And I also have to respond to some emails for some brands, and I need to just respond to them. So we're just going to do that. Alright guys, so I'm honestly so tired right now, so I'm gonna call it a night. I got a video edited and I responded to a few emails and yeah, so I have class tomorrow morning, so I'm just going to head to bed, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little night in my life video. I have lots of videos planned for this week, so stay tuned and just a bunch of things planned, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to stay up to date. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!